everybody on here with us. So um, Olivia is our room manager. She'll be watching microphones and helping us mute and unmute and do all the things we need to do as we go through tonight's program. So this is our annual test drive your costume party. Because how many people are ready for Halloween? Can we see some thumbs up? Woo, woo, woo. We know Halloween's going to be a little bit different this year than it normally is, right? But we're going to have fun anyway, because we're so excited to be able to Zoom with you and see all your beautiful smiling faces. I see you, Katie, making faces. <laughs> oh, oh, does mom have something on too, dog? I see her. There she is. I love it. I love, love, love it. So we're going to start out with our story time song and get everybody started right after we remind you who we are. I'm Miss Denise. I'm your youth services librarian. I'm Toby? Miss Spider Annette. Spider Annette. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Miss Toby. And I'm Miss Olivia. So again, we are so happy to see all of you. So let's start out with our opening song that we're all going to sit down and sing together. Is everybody ready to sing? Okay, here we go. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. Let's all gather near so everyone can hear. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. Yay! Well, welcome. We have all kinds of fun things about Halloween we're going to share tonight, including some really fun stories. So Miss Olivia is going to read our first story, actually sing our first story to you, and you're probably going to recognize it once she gets started. So here we go with Miss okay. Olivia. All righty. So this is Over in the Hollow by Rebecca Dickinson, illustrated by S. Britt, and published by Chronic Books San Francisco. Over at the hollow where the cobwebs are spun, live a giant mother spider and her little spidey one. Spin hums the mother, we spin hums the one. So they spin silver lace where the cobwebs are spun. Over in the hollow, wrapped in old sheets and glue, live an old moldy mummy and his little mummies too. Lurch moans the mummy, we lurch moan the two, and they lurch into the mist, wrapped in old sheets and glue. <laughs> Over in the hollow, in a twisted tangled tree, live a spooky mama owl and her little owlets three. Who hoots the mama, we who hoots the three, so they who and they hoot in their twisted tangled tree. Over in the hollow, in a coffin on the floor, live a pale grandpa vampire and his little vampies four. Bite, groans the grandpa, we bite, groan the four. So they nibble and they bite in their coffin on the floor. <laughs> Over in the hollow, where the bats dip and dive, live a furry grandma bat and her little bats five. Flap squeaks the grandma, we flap squeak the five. So they flap and they flutter where the bats dip and dive. Over in the hollow on their magic broomsticks fly a good auntie witch and her little witchy six. Zoom cries the auntie, we zoom cry the six. So they zoom through the night on their magic broomsticks. I want to do that. Mm -hmm. Over in the hollow, a swinging and a stepping live a daddy Frankenstein and his little Frankie seven. Stomp shouts the daddy, we stomp shout the seven. So they stomp and they clump a swinging and a stepping. Over in the hollow through the creaky graveyard gate, prowl a hairy uncle werewolf and his little wolfies eight. Howl, growls the uncle, we howl, growl the eight. So they howl and they prowl through the creaky graveyard gate. Over in the meadow, neath the blue moonshine, sit a papa jack-o'-lantern and his little pumpkins nine. Glow, whisper, papa, we glow, whisper nine. So they glimmer and they glow neath the blue moonshine. Over in the hollow in a mossy green glen live a two-headed monster and his little monster's ten. Eek shrieks the papa, we eek shrieks the ten. So they eek and they shriek in the glossy green glen. It's hard to say. Mm -hmm. The end. Oh, look at all this. Oh, my goodness. What number did we make our way up to? Can somebody show us how many? 
10, right? We made our way all the way up to 10. Very, very, very good. So how many of you, are you wearing the costumes tonight that you're going to be wearing for Halloween this year? Oh, you guys are going to be fabulous. I love it. 10, right, Will? Absolutely. Very, very good. So you guys, what did you think of the first song? Is that one you've heard before? Just a little different with all the woofies and the vampires and all the fun that goes with that, right? So what's your favorite part about dressing up? Do you like to wear the hats the best? Do you like the hats? No, don't like the hats as much. How about your outfit, your actual shirts? Do you like your shirts, dresses? Oh my gosh, you guys are so fabulous. I'm telling you, these are some absolutely amazing costumes I'm seeing out there. So is everybody ready for a second story? We have a second story. So this is going to be a story that Toby is going to read it with us. So Toby. I see lots of costumes out there. I wonder what you will be for Halloween by Mark Todd from Hutton Mifflin Company in Boston. What will you be for Halloween? He's digging through all of his toys. Did you, did, did anyone make their costume out of things around the house? We, we did. <laughs> <laughs> A venomous vampire in a cloak of black, sharp teeth, widow speak. Hold the garlic, please. A hairy werewolf to be wary of, howling, snarling, drooling with claws and paws and elongated schnoz. <laughs> a mad scientist monster with shoulders hunched, big and bulky, often sulky, a mean green sleepwalking machine. Oh, no. A ghastly ghost, white and creepy, mysterious and sneaky. Actually, there's not much to it. You can see right through it. I think we have a ghost with us today. I yes, think so. A plundering pirate in buckets and boots, and sorry, in buckles and boots, an eye patch and a hook for that genuine look, sailing the high seas for jewels and gems and whatever she sees. She's got a bucket of booty there. Uh-huh. <laughs> a riveted robot with circuits and blips and computer chips. Zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one. It's trick or treat and computer lingo in case you didn't know. <laughs> a scary skeleton, femurs, funny bones and ribs, thin and shaky, frail and lanky, a frightful sight in black and white. Ooh. Ooh. A menacing Martian. With green googly-eyed antennas. I think Annette has some googly-eyed antennas. A yes, strange <laughs> tiny space invader who beamed down to say hello from his meteor-powered UFO. A courageous cowgirl in spurs and chaps and a ten-gallon hat. This outlaw can rope a snack in three seconds flat. <laughs> A mysterious mummy groaning and moaning, bandaged from head to toe. What he really looks like, only his mummy knows. <laughs> a warty witch with broom and pointed hat, curly toes, striped nose, all in black, even her cat. Oh, oh. she's a little spookier than we are, I think. Mm. Now that you've chosen what you will be, it's time to go. It's time to meet all the others. And what do you do on Halloween? <gasps> Retreat! 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 <laughs> yes. Looks like they're having fun, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful.
good for one more story? Okay. I'm going to read this third story to you, and it's called Some Monsters Are Different. And we know that because we all look different tonight, don't we? Hold on one second. <laughs> Hit it for me. That's okay. <laughs> okay. I know. It takes time to make all the adjustments. It's all good. Okay, there we go. Some monsters. Okay, this one is called Some Monsters Are Different, and it's by David Milgram, and it's by Holt and Company, right? Yeah. yeah. Of New York. So let's, so let's flip over and get going. <gasps> Some monsters are afraid. Ah! Doesn't he look like he's afraid? <gasps> oh, some are not. He just, he loves that worm. Some monsters will eat anything. Ooh, that looks yucky, doesn't it? Some are picky. Do we have anybody that just likes pizza and they won't eat anything else? Mm, <laughs> oh my goodness. Some monsters talk and talk and talk. He's saying, then I dreamed I ate a tuna sandwich. No, wait, it was cheese and tomato. No, it was tuna, tuna on rye, or was it soup? And look at all his friends, sound asleep. <laughs> sound asleep. Some are quiet. And how are you today? Um, 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 he doesn't really have much to say, does he? And some monsters are alike. Me too. Me, me too. Me too. Me too. They all have fruit on their head. Don't they look cool? <laughs> Even the little ones look the same. <gasps> some monsters love to dance. That's me. Does everybody love to dance like we did? Yes. Look at that. And some monsters love to play outside. Last one ends a rotten egg. No, -uh! look at them diving in there. Gonna go swimming. Oh, sorry. Gonna go swimming. And some hold on. Some sorry, monsters it love to dance. One. There. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry. that's all right. Some like it inside. It looks to me like he's playing Pac-Man, which is one of my favorites. Some monsters don't make any fuss at all when they have to take a bath. I think she's really enjoying the bath. Some do, but <laughs> all monsters are absolutely, positively, completely, perfectly wonderful. Look at that mess of monsters. Kind of looks like the same thing as when we put our screen up, doesn't it? With all of those faces of monsters everywhere tonight. <gasps> just the way they are look at him he even has antlers and he has his little ornaments hanging from his antlers so we're all perfect the way we are right yes. okay so now miss annette is going to tell us what she made for our craft and it's a really easy thing but boy is it neat you're going to really love this yes miss toby's going to bring up a yep. picture uh-huh for you all to see because we took the picture when it was dark and it's not very dark outside. <laughs> so it's awfully hard to see. So you can make your own ghost. And I know all of you have juice containers, half gallon. You might have milk containers in the gallon. And I don't know if you can see this one or not. Uh, let uh, me stop share so that you can okay. see. Yeah. So yeah. this one, you can't see very uh, much, but I have a glow stick in, in the middle of it. So all you need is a plastic jug, juice or milk, a permanent marker so you can make a face on it. On some of the bigger ones, we have made a hole in the back so that you can put in, if you don't have a glow stick, you can put in a battery operated candle but you can go to the Dollar Tree or any of the dollar stores and you can get these glow sticks. And I don't know if you have ever seen glow sticks before, but you crack them like this and see Look all the light. Really well. <laughs> that did show up really that well. Up really well. <laughs> it just doesn't show up in our milk jugs right That's now. That's right. That's so, right. All you do is stick it down in your milk jug and you can put this out as decorations 
for uh, for trick or treat if you want to, or you could even carry one around as your lantern because at night they put it put off a lot of light. Look, so Miss Toby will bring up the picture yeah, again. one more time. You can and, see and, what they yes. And these don't rot like pumpkins do. No, no. they don't. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see some of them have blue in them. Some of them have white. There's one with red. There's mm -hmm. orange and yellow. Um, there are all kinds of colors of these glow sticks. So we thought that would be easy for you to do something you would have around the house. And where did you get the glow sticks, Miss Annette? Any dollar store, family yeah. dollar, Dollar Tree, all mm -hmm. the other that have <laughs> that name in them. So you yes. can get them anywhere like mm -hmm. that. At the dollar store, you get three for a dollar. Some of them you get five for a dollar, depending on what the size you get. So yep. I think it's a fun thing that you all can do with your family and it won't take much time. Yep, absolutely. So very, very, very good idea for a Halloween craft. So we hope everybody had fun tonight. Did everybody have a good time? Woo! Yay! Well, next week, we're going to do Tuesday again next week at 530. And next week, we're going to be telling scary stories, but not really big scary, just fun, scary stories, okay? So that's next Tuesday night at, at 5.30 again. So as we finish out today, we're going to have Miss Toby show all of our faces on the screen all at one yes. time um, so we can all sing together. Denise, you're the one recording, so you're the one that you'd have to click gallery view up at the top. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now look at all these faces. Is everybody ready to sing our closing song for the week? Okay, here we go. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Yay! And now I want everybody to turn your mics on because we are going to finish out with a big, fabulous SCPL library cheer. Oh, everybody remembers how to do your library cheer, right? We count to three and then as loud as we can, we do library. Okay? So is everybody ready? We're going to count together. Oh, All right. a spooky ghost again. I know. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Yay. We had so much fun with everybody tonight. We hope you had a good time with us as well. Um, remember next Tuesday night, and remember to give us a call before you come by the library next time, and we'll have your books ready for you to pick up to take home. So you guys have a good week, and we'll hope to see you next week. So stay safe and keep reading. Bye, everybody. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Good night. Thanks for coming.